welcome to this tutorial on how to bring add to cart functionality to sell your full size images online using Photo Pro. So uh, just for the experience of what this would be like for someone, uh, here in the uh, Photo Pro example project file, I have three images on the page called add to cart. And in the bottom left of these thumbnails, you're going to notice little bag icons. And when someone goes to click those bag icons, they get a add to cart um, uh, modal that kind of pops up where they can enter their first and last name, their email address, and they continue on to checkout. Now let's say they want to get some other images. They can click keep shopping, <clears throat> close out the full size image and choose other images. The same thing is offered to them, um, the add to cart, when they're viewing a full size image and let's say they want this, they can click the shopping bag icon in the light box toolbar area as well. So what does it take to get all this started? It does require a Cartloom uh, account. Uh, Cartloom is an e-commerce service uh, that I'm a part of. I do all the design for uh, e-commerce or <laughs> for e-commerce, for Cartloom. Uh, so I'm a partner with them. Um, and you can get started with a free account and you can set up uh, everything you need to uh, start having to start selling your images uh, with uh, Photo Pro. You can set up everything at no charge with a free Cartloom Play plan and uh, everything will work. The only thing you will be limited on is at the very end when it comes to actually delivering your digital file, you're going to get a uh, Cartloom example project file or example image um, because you're using a free account. Once you're ready to go live with actually selling your images, then you can upgrade to a, uh, a paid account. So once you, uh, so yeah, first for starters, make sure you have a uh, Cartloom uh, store. So once you have that, you would go into the Photo Pro base settings and in the Cartloom seller ID field, you're going to enter your Cartloom seller name or store name. And Cartloom has a, a demo account, so that is the actual name of the uh, store name. So I, here I've put in demo. And um, that's all you need for the base settings is just that that field is required. None of this will work if you do not put in your uh, seller name. Next, uh, to sell images on a per image basis, um, we are going to, you're going to click your image and in your stack settings at the very bottom, there's a, a field uh, says add to cart and cartloom link. And then I have uh, some helpful directions on where to find this link because there's a lot of stuff going on in Cartloom and I'm trying to help you find out where to get to this. Uh, so now that you know that there is a link area for the images, let's go and set up this, uh, this digital download in Cartloom and then it will give us this link and then we'll uh, put it in here. I'm even gonna take this out just so you can see when you take it out, it just becomes a regular image. There's no bag icon, no nothing. So now let's work on that. So uh, let's imagine that I've logged into the demo account. Um, here under uh, products and manage, I, I have uh, the image that I've already added in here. Um, so this is it done, but I'm gonna show you what those uh, product settings look like when I clicked add to product. So here we have the North End mudroom uh, example. So here I've added the product title and North End and mudroom, this refers to like, you know, this image right here, it's a picture of a mudroom and it's in the house of a uh, house called the North End. Anyway, um, so I've added the product title and I've added the price, or just example why I was gonna put $5. Um, I put it in a category. You don't have to do this, but if you have a lot of images, probably a good idea to start divvying them up into categories. Um, just to sort through them easier later. So I created a new one called Digital Images and I just um, added it to there. And then for quantity, I put that it's a single purchase so that people don't accidentally like add the same image to the cart twice because it's a digital download. There's no sense in having two of them. So I just uh, have single purchase enabled. Uh, but you can disable that uh, like if you're selling prints. Um, like this doesn't have to be a digital download. You could um, sell like a certain print size or something. 
um, you can, uh, and if they want like three of them, well, that's when you would disable single purchase and you would enable adjustable quantity so that people can get like three prints or something like that. So that's all for the product settings. Next for the page, I have dragged and dropped in um, a thumbnail of the mudroom image. Uh, and this image right here that you add is going to be um, what people see like when they click the add to cart. Um, this image right here, it's coming from here. And that's all you're really gonna do uh, in this page. And then lastly, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the digital uh, settings. For digital active, we're gonna enable it to yes. Um, for And then for file delivery, uh, I'm gonna enable send link so that right after purchase uh, and, they, and the customer gets their um, invoice, they get a download link in their invoice. Also, uh, you can control download settings. Um, like let's say you only want them to download it five times or just within the next day and then after the day they don't get to download it. You have a lot of control over that. But right here by setting the maximum downloads to unlimited and to have it never expire, uh, the download link, um, that's very generous. They're never gonna lose access to that image. And then um, we have the file drop area to upload. So Cartland makes this crazy, crazy easy. So here um, in the finder, I have the full size image for that mudroom shot. And all I did was I dragged and I dropped it onto here to upload the full size image. And then Cartland is gonna start working on adding that. And it's added. Uh, if, the, if it had a different file name, it'll update with a different file name here. And that's it. Then you just save your product once you have all those settings done. And then we can head on over to the snippets area. This is where we're actually going to be using um, a resource from here into the uh, Photo Pro. So we go snippets, then advanced, and then we have an area called add to cart, and then we have the href. I know that's really like kind of digging in the weeds, but again, it's snippets, advanced, add to cart, href. We do not want this whole line. You can't put this whole line uh, into Photo Pro. Things just won't work. You need the href, which is just this line right here. It's within some quotes, which kind of makes it a little easier to nail down. And then we're gonna feed that into the cartloom link area right here. And then we're going to add it. And then now you see that we have a, our bag icon show up in the thumbnail and show up in the light box. And now if we click that, this product is now ready to sell. And that's it. Um, there's really nothing more to it. Um, once someone uh, completes checkout, they will, be, uh, they will be emailed an invoice of their purchase and along in that invoice, they will uh, have a link where they can go and download this full size uh, image. And that's it, pretty straightforward. All right guys, thanks for watching.